when you have a decentralized internet, you actually have the concept of digital property rights for the very first time. Uh, it all goes back to ownership. And there, there are decades worth of political and social theories that back up, and economic theories, actually not even decades, centuries of theories that back up why property rights matter so much in human society. If you track the history of any society around the world, uh, the value of aggregate society grows when there's real property rights. Uh, when you own something, you can create industries around that ownership. And we've never had that in the digital world because it's always been owned by a small group of companies, right? These oligopolies that Hanjin is talking about. So when we finally have a digital world in which each of you individually owns your assets, your identity, and your data, you're going to start seeing uh, the value of what you create multiplied. This is a room of creators. Again, we're at Gen T Summit. Everyone here is a creator. Your, val your primary value to the world is what you make. It's, you're not a cog. If you were just a cog in a big machine, you wouldn't be here. Okay? Not at this summit. You guys all create. And there is a value to what you create. But you guys also know that you don't actually get to control the value of that creation today. Somebody else sets the price for that. In the future, we should be able to set our own price. And then we should be able to multiply it because we can create industry around the things that are made. Okay, it's not just important for us, for the next generation, the one after that, right? In our generation, we're going to have one Hanjin. But the reality is that for the next generation, everyone believes they can be Hanjin. And that is the beauty of Gen Z. And we have to give them the technology that allows them to actually price what they create. So um, that's going to be the major difference, is that it's real digital property rights, and then we can actually create an equitable economic, um, well, equitable digital economy around those things that we make. Gary, just following up, you're building the rails for this. You're building the monorail rails for this whole thing as a part of Terminal 3. That's how you're starting to get all of this going, isn't it? I'm building a very specific set of blockchain-based infrastructure that, uh, with, the, with, the, with a very specific goal, which is we believe in a world in which data, individual personal data, your data, can be freely composable, meaning that it can free flow across applications and protocols, while remaining fully private. That does not exist today. You have to choose one or the other. Either your data is fully private and therefore it doesn't move from one place to another, or it does move and makes the internet magical, but it's no longer private, completely exposed to everyone. We believe that there should be a world in which both can coexist. And the beauty of blockchain technology is that because of blockchain and the encryption of blockchain, and because of cryptography that now exists, we can make that happen. So that's the base layer technology that we're building. It's very boring enterprise level infrastructure. But if we get it right, if we get it right, we can exist in a digital world with whatever identity that we want to have, however we want to express ourselves without giving up our private data and yet still have the magical experience of the internet that we enjoy today without anyone else owning the stuff that you create. But Hanjin's going to make it even more interesting so how will you think the web, the future of Web3 be? You've dropped your first NFT, as, as we've talked about, first Chinese music NFT. How do you see this whole future going in with all the projects that you're working on? And what is the future for you? Uh, thank you, Angie. Uh, Kiss. I've uh, dropped four. First was the music one that got the headlines on uh, Coindesk and TechCrunch and that. Um, but after that, I dropped some even more um, important POCs. My, what I do is very, it's the opposite of what he does. Um, he, he's, he's trying to create a uh, store of value for data. I'm trying to create store of culture POCs. Because store of culture can, is, is a dem it's a democratic process. People create their own culture. And together, we create trends and directions. Um, and if you do it on, on Web3, uh, on encrypted uh, protocols, inter encrypted internet, then you start to create ownership, personal ownership, that you can monetize in the future. And it, it, the dream is that it will be meritocratic. The dream is that it will be equitable. The dream is that people will may be able to make rent. Like, you don't have to wait for the incumbents to pay you pittance for your content. 